Hey, Star Wars Action Figure Collector, this is Darth Phoenix 619 coming at you with my carded figure collection. And uh, I decided to do this for a couple of reasons. One, um, most of you know that my elbow was broken not too long ago. I had surgery on Friday and I'm still recovering from that surgery. I've tried to record to try to record some um, reviews the last couple of days, but I just find myself very frustrated because I need two hands to do the reviews, you know, to manipulate figures, for lighting, for focusing, and it's just very hard to do that because, you know, my arm's pretty much um, useless, <laughs> you know, um, all the way up to my wrist, so I, I can't move my wrist very much either, so um, I'm not getting this thing off until next Monday, the 23rd, and hopefully everything looks good and, you know, I can continue with physical therapy and whatnot, but just very frustrating to do reviews, so I decided to do a different kind of vid today, and I might do a couple different... I have some ideas for, for videos for the next, you know, week or so. So anyways, and uh, another reason is just um, I have the time for it. You know, I'm here off work and going a little stir-crazy, so I decided, you know, thought some of you might be interested. I know uh, most of you I know that I keep most of my figures loose, and I do have a few figures carded. And uh, just kind of wanted to show them off and talk about why I chose to keep them carded. So hopefully you guys enjoy this vid. Okay. So let's go ahead and, and begin. So uh, first off, we have um, Endor Leia, which is a part of the Saga collection and the classic uh, vintage collection packaging. Um, it's her in her combat poncho of Endor. And I got this at a convention for like ten dollars, and decided to keep it carded because I really just liked the image on the card. All the green, you know, um, uh, the photo op, the the green in the background, uh, the combat po uh, poncho. It just looks great. You know, love green, and it's just a really beautiful image of Carrie Fisher. Her smile and her eyes just looks really gorgeous. So you know, I can always get these, get this at some other time, uh, carded. So. There you go. Next, I have Asajj Ventress, and this is one that I decided to keep carded mostly because of that image there in the corner. I think that's some beautiful artwork there of Asajj Ventress. I mean, she is one of my favorite characters, and um, you know, I have a few Asajjs already loose. I don't have this one loose. The figure itself looks okay. I know it doesn't have the best articulation, so you know, I got this for five dollars. Thought it looked pretty cool, and kind of want to start a carded. Asajj Ventress collection since, you know, she is my favorite figure. Uh, one of my favorite characters, I should say. Okay. Next we have a rare comic 2-pack. And this one is the Clone Trooper Lieutenant and Clone Trooper um, part of the Star Wars, I forget the name of this comic book, uh, Legacy Collection comic pack. Oh, Routine Valor is the name of the comic book. So this one's a really rare pack, actually. Not even quite sure how much it retails for. I think it's somewhere above fifty dollars. But you know, at times when I look this up on eBay, I can't even find mid on card ones. You know, you'll see the figures loose. So you know, with the advice of some fellow YouTubers, decided to keep it carded. Even the images, the product shots on the back are of other rare comic packs. So you know, I have a lot of Utapau clone troopers. You know loose and I don't have a commander but you know this looks pretty good on the card so I'd say I keep this next to my my clones next I have some uh, vintage collection card figures first I have Mr. Darth Vader um, the reason I keep this one card is because he's I mean nostalgic reasons for the most part I mean just a classic card back there of, of Vader I really want to get rid of that sticker but I'm going to ruin the pack Unpunched um, and a fantastic figure. Uh, I have a couple figures in my collection. I don't have this one, but I just think he looks really cool. I just, you know, all the black on the card itself just looks fantastic. So, this is definitely one of my favorite uh, carded figures. So, I'll put them him in the back. Next, I have Zam Wessel. Um, she not an expensive or rare figure at all. And there's like you know, it's unpunched, but there's some creases there. The reason I decided to keep her card is because I do have a Sam Wessel loose, but I lost her alternate head and some of her accessories. So I was really bummed out. So I found this at TJ Maxx, I think, for like five bucks. So, you know, decided to get it carded, keep it and keep, decided to get it and keep it carded. 
mainly because I don't want to lose the head. <laughs> so, you know, it's a cool image though, a Zam Wessel. Next, I have uh, Luke Skywalker, lightsaber construction, uh, deleted scene. And the main reason I keep this one card is because I got this from Art Trooper Mark. So, as a prize in one of his contests, and I have him loose, so I decided to keep him carded. Next, I have Sandstorm Leia, another deleted scenes Blu-ray figure. And this one I decided to keep carded because I have a Slave Leia. I mean, I don't have one with a Sandstorm outfit, but I just really like the image. This may be opened at one point, but for now I decided to leave it carded. And, uh, you know, I've never saw her in stores, and except for once when I bought this. So, you know, if I run into another one, definitely get another one to open, but I just really like the image of the card. It looks really cool. Okay, and then finally, for oh, well, not finally, but I have uh, Kithaba Skiffguard, and he has the red bandana. I bought this on Amazon. I'm not expecting the red bandana variant for five dollars, and I got it, so I decided to keep carded because I was seeing some Kithabas and stores, and I ended up getting another one loose. So there is. Kithaba, or Kithaba, or whatever you want to call them. Alright, so let's go ahead now and take a look at my Boba Fetts. So I'm starting to build up a good carded Fett collection. So here's uh, Boba Fett from the Saga collection. He has that flame accessory come out of his jetpack. So it's a really cool looking card there. Don't have him loose, nor do I want him loose. <laughs> Uh, another one, I don't collect any Power of the Force figures. This is the only one I own, and I only got it because it was a carded fit. Got it for five bucks. She got a nice little image there of Boba. An outdated figure, but cool nonetheless. Okay. Now we're getting some Star Case figures here. Uh, we have the Macquarie Concept Boba Fett. This is an outstanding figure. I don't have this one loose. I actually did find him. A second time, but I gave him to my nephew as a gift, and he lost his figure, <laughs> which was upsetting to hear, but oh well, you know, he's a kid. But, uh, I mean, I would love to get another one of these guys, but he looks cool. He's got the alternate helmet there, and just the nice white Macquarie concept art right there. Just looks really cool. So, really, really, really like this one. One of my favorite carded figures. Okay. Next, we have a uh, BOTC 2004 Boba Fett, one of my top favorite figures. Definitely have this guy loose, and it just looks great, you know, the vintage collection card. So, really cool. Definitely one of my favorite card carded figures as well. Uh, another Boba Fett here, this is the one in the prototype armor. So I, you know, did the mail-in rebates for this guy, and... You know, I was very happy to get him. Wish I had gotten a second one because it would be nice to have another one to open. But just a killer looking card. Great image there of the prototype armor. Looking very suave in the white. That's a great, great looking card. Um, animated debut Boba Fett. So have this guy loose too. And a really cool 30th anniversary packaging. Okay. So. Uh, Bastila Shan, I actually found this one at Target for 10 bucks, and for some strange reason decided that I wanted to keep her card in, and boy, my God, I did, because she has definitely gone up in value in the last couple of years, and I was lucky to get another one as a gift from the Forces with Jesse, so um, the figure itself is pretty good, that that art right there is, is, is beautiful, great image there of Bastila. Next, we have the pre cyborg Grievous, which I found for $3 <laughs> at a flea market. This one's very cool. I decided to keep it carded because I can always get a loose one for a decent price. But this one is, is so cool. And just that art, once again, beautiful art. Like I said, you gotta love the 30th anniversary uh, packaging. Uh, next, I have this guy right here, which is a Shadow Scout uh, with a speeder bike. 
um, really unique packaging. This was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. And I just, I mean, he looks so cool, and I've always been tempted to take him out, but I just love the packaging. It's very unique in its design. It's got the Imperial uh, symbol there, and the great artwork. There's that, you know, the symbol again is kind of a glossy metallic finish there. And it just looks great. This guy looks wonderful. You know, this one's, uh, I had that on my uh, receiver in my media room. And finally, definitely not least, is Darth Revan. I got this guy for about $50 a couple years back. He was a uh, Father's Day gift, and I actually found him a couple months later at a toy fair for $20. So definitely wanted to open one and keep one carded. And, of course, this guy is a rare one tube and looks great. Once again, that wonderful... 30th anniversary packaging. So there you guys have it. That is my carded collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this little vid here. Something different. Like I said, I have some ideas for uh, a couple vids in the next couple few days. You know, since I'm off work and you know I can't really be doing reviews. Uh, one was uh, for my 300th video that's coming up pretty soon. It's uh, kind of reflecting on um, Hasbro product this year. But I may wait to do that until the end of the year. And I have another one on just a little subject. That's something that's kind of been I've been talking to others about. Um, it's kind of like a vlog type of thing. Ooh, vlog. But anyways, there you guys go. Enough of me rambling on. Hope you guys, like I said, enjoyed this vid. And until next time, may the force be with you.